Hey, good morning. This is Alan Buchanan, and I provide location advice to owners and occupants of industrial buildings in Southern California. And welcome to another edition of Tuesday Traffic Tips, coming to you today from my palatial studios, also known as the front seat of my car. Hey, before we get started, a huge shout out to my new friends at Connect Media. Connect Media has opted to pick up the Tuesday traffic tips so you can see them there and read all their wonderful scoop as well on all the happenings in the commercial real estate world. All right, today I want to talk about follow up and whether follow up in our business is really necessary. You know, we in the commercial real estate business follow up constantly. But it dawned on me a couple of days ago when a vendor was following up with me. I hadn't called him back. He followed up to see if I had any questions. And, you know, and I thought to myself, if I had really wanted his services, I would have, in fact, followed up with him. So it made me wonder, is follow-up really necessary? Well, I would say yes. However, I believe it's very important the way in which we follow up. And what I would suggest going forward is when you call back a prospect, when you call back a client, when you're doing your normal follow-up, try to come up with some reason that you're calling. In other words, you've got a new idea, you've got a new reason, uh, one of their competitors might be doing something interesting in the business, maybe a new building has popped up on the market. So it's a way to follow up that actually adds value to the conversation Hopefully gets your email or your phone call returned. All right, this is Alan Buchanan saying make it an awesome week on Tuesday Traffic Tips.